Welcome to Ask Me Anything About AWS, where I answer any questions you may have about AWS. For today's questions, we've got a video from Dasha. What kind of person should be a solutions architect? In short, I think the solutions architect role is perfect for if you want to be a CTO or you want to be like an entrepreneur, founder, builder sort of person. By the way, if you're applying for big tech, I've now got some resources to help you prepare for your interviews and the entire process. So go check it out. So let's answer this question. Life is good. <laughs> Thanks for this question, Dasha. It's a great question. And just to give you some introduction, my name is Martini Su, and I'm a solutions architect at AWS. Last year, I was a solutions architect intern, and I went through that process, got a full-time offer back, and here I am. And I'm trying to help as many students and early career graduates to be able to get into big tech and AWS. So the solutions architect role, who is right for this role? And this is actually a really interesting question and something which I relate to a lot, especially when first sort of starting out for this role. So to give you a bit of context, before I joined AWS as a solutions architect intern, I was studying as an electrical engineer. However, my predominant sort of interest was in software engineering and coding. And I actually did a software engineering internship at American Express. And then I did a software engineering internship um, sort of internship slash like actual developer role was in my third year at university at this startup called Raindrop, which was really cool. And I really enjoyed those two roles in terms of building and like, if you know me, like I love to build, I love coding, I love doing that sort of good stuff. However, what I figured with the software engineering role is that it was too much just focus on like building code and just developing. And like that's all you do. You don't do anything else. You just code and you basically get a gyro ticket. You go, thank you. You can write some code, off you go, and then you get reviewed. And that was like, for me, I felt that at that stage in my life, that's not what I wanted to do. To do. I wanted to do a lot more. I wanted to um, like speak to customers, learn more about technologies and different technology stacks, do some evangelism, do some public speaking. If, you, if like me, you're quite entrepreneurial and you want to do sort of some business stuff as well, the software engineering role just didn't quite scratch that itch for you. And I was actually just looking on the internet, looking around for different sort of roles. I found like product management roles, data analyst roles, and those are really cool. But when I found the solutions architect role, I was like, oh, this looks really cool. Anyway, so hopefully that's the context to like why I applied for the role. And now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the actual solutions architect role. In short, I think the solutions architect role is perfect for if you want to be a CTO or you want to be like an entrepreneur, founder, builder sort of person. Let me dive into more details into that. So as a solutions architect, you probably spend about 60% of your time dealing with customers, and that means you have to go speak to them, you have to go learn about what they want and what um, problems they're facing, and then you have to build like a proof of concept or guide them on different solutions to them. And with that, you really have to think about the big picture of tech and think about security, cost optimizations, a reliability, the performance and the operations, and even like this, this sustainability aspect of an application. And that really gives you this wide perspective of your customer problem, which is very much aligned to what a CTO would have to think for their company's technology stack. The other 40%, you probably spend about 20% learning because you know at AWS, we have over 200 services, each of which has a lot of features. So you really need to be in this continuous process of learning. And then you have another 20% where you can dive deeper into you know, different technical aspects. At AWS, we have something called a TFC. A TFC could be in something like databases, machine learning, AI, storage, serverless. You can spend a lot of time there really sort of specializing in a subject. So hopefully that sort of makes sense what Solutions Architect does. Is if you're a techie that also likes to speak to a lot of people, I think the SA role is really good. If you have the trait where you don't want to just specialize in one tech and you want to learn you know, a, a much wider field of tech first, then the SA role is also really good for you. And honestly, in my personal thoughts, I think the SA role is probably one of the best roles to do as your early career because you're just involved in so many different aspects of tech through talking to customers, evangelism, public speaking, building our architectures, diving deep into different technologies within the cloud, you get to practice your sales. It's just a really good all-rounded role. I hope that answers your question, Dasha. Thank you for watching today's episode of Ask Me Anything AWS with me, Martini. And if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comment and I'll answer them in a future video.